Hi, hello and welcome. Microbe Hunter here again. Today, no microbe hunting, but rather I wanted to make a video that makes you guess what you're looking at. What could it be? This was my original intention. I'm gonna tell you the answer right away. You're looking at some hair. It's one of my hair that I put under the microscope. And if you're wondering um, about the beautiful colors and the changing colors that you see, this is because I'm observing the hair using polarized light. And when you change the polarization a little bit, then you get all of those color changes um, as well. Now here under the microscope is one of the generally one of the easier specimens to observe. However, um, because my hair is kind of black and very darkly pigmented, um, you don't see a lot. So what I had to do is I had to choose um, those few here, gray hair that I'm already uh, starting to grow. I am also becoming older um, after all. And if you look at the hair in, uh, inside, then you can see that the hair actually is made of different layers. There is a darker central region and there is a brighter periphery. Well, the central region that is known as the med medulla of the hair and the periphery that is the cortex. And if you watched one of my previous videos where I put some sh uh, beard clippings under the microscope, you can actually see it um, in the, in the cross-section. There, diff there are different regions um, of the hair. And in the cross-section, you can actually see the central part also being of a different color. Now, where do I have the hair from? Of course, from my own head, but I've been collecting hair samples since the year 2018. Every time when I'm trimming off my own hair, um, then I'm collecting a few of these hair samples and putting them into those plastic bags. You might think that this is a little bit strange, but it is a little science project that I'm doing because I want, like, I want to observe if the hair um, changes on as people start to age. So I'm going to yeah, still wait a few years and maybe I'm able to see a difference uh, in hair texture and thickness. But honestly, I don't know if it's going to be successful, but this kind of should explain a little bit why I'm doing this. Well, of course, I had to pick up uh, those few white hair that I could find and I put it directly on a microscope slide into a drop of water. Um, cover glass uh, goes, of course, um, on top and then I observed it directly under the microscope, first um, in bright field. And this is where it's also possible to see that uh, different hair have, of course, a different thickness. Maybe it depends a little bit on the age of the hair follicle. I don't know. Um, that's also something that I would like uh, to investigate a little bit. But maybe I'm investigating something that is already known. This here again is in bright field at a higher magnification here. Therefore, the colors are not uh, quite as nicely visible, but you can see a little bit the texture of the hair already. And if you turn on polarized light, this is when you get the beautiful colors again. Well, at this time, I would like to, of course, thank all of my supporters in this YouTube channel. Um, I have uh, basically already over 50,000 subscribers. The channel is growing and growing. I would also like to invite you to subscribe to the channel. A big thank you to everyone. Happy microbe hunting as always, and see you around next time. Bye-bye.